welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode on GTA 5 with Gaming Penguin and... Well, the Fairways Police Department, yes, they have to make an appearance. This time it is chucking their car at the uh, little car park and exploding all the ambulances. Uh, I mean, the player amazingly survives all of this, but uh, it, that is that is not what you want uh, going on. Now, we stick with GTA 5 for our next clip. Uh, the mission is simple, just collect this van full of supplies, okay? And drive it to a location some six miles away. Should be straightforward. But the game physics, it is, it has given up. I don't quite know what's caused it, but the back of the van, for some reason, has been lifted up. And this makes it rather difficult. The van is rear-wheel drive, and, uh, well, you really struggle to put much power down when the wheels are barely touching the ground. It makes it incredibly difficult to move, and it just wants to sit there and spinning its wheels. Now, this is actually a very, very long clip, because it continues to do this for quite a while, so I've cut it down. As you can see, I mean, it, it does kind of drive. It is impossible to drive, and there's a little part of me that wishes I could, you know, intentionally cause vehicles to act like this, because it would be funny trying to race a whole lot of them briefly, and then very annoying, but uh, yeah, it just wants to, I mean, because the wheel that's barely touching the ground, it wants to just kind of spin, some power is put down to get it moving. After a lot of effort, I mean, they get out of Sandy Shores, but it continues to be a horrifically difficult thing to drive, but it turns out, in a weird twist of fate, that all it took, all it takes to fix this, reverse it into a wall, and physics resets, and then we're back to being a normal van again. Yeah, sometimes crashing does fix things, <laughs> only in video games, but still, that is a weird, weird, weird one for the van right there, but at least it got working in the end. Uh, Harry is up next, uh, also on GTA 5. Now, they are waiting around in the train yard, and it turns out if you get a car stuck on top of these kind of abandoned train light, yeah, physics does not like that. Physics is very, very angry at this sort of a thing. I mean, this makes a little bit more sense than the van, if I'm honest. But, yeah, car it, it does not work as a train. It is it is very, very safe to say. A uh, barring car guy is next on uh, Liberty City Stories. Now, they are messing around with an angry pedestrian. We've all done it at some point in a GTA game. Seeing what they do. In fact, pedestrian is very strong and just punched a door off the van. That I'm mighty impressed by. However, <laughs> the weirder way to say thing is, so uh, they were on a mission at, at some point, and as they were failing or, or ending the mission while they were in the animation of getting in the van, the game has freaked out, and they are now stuck as a passenger in the van and cannot move. I guess the karma, karma has got them for trying to annoy the AI right there. Uh, tomfoolery is up next on the crew at two. Uh, now, they are doing uh, just one of the random jumps that are around the map, and if you see a ramp, you are naturally going, you know, you're likely to drive over it, not expecting to manage to land in a fenced-in area that you can't get out of. Which is a little bit of a problem. I mean, the Beetle could even do a wheelie, which is better than a lot of cars, let's face it, and even that is not enough to get the vehicle out of this area. <laughs> not great. Not great right there. Train guys up next on Need for Speed Unbound. And while you would expect it be the Fowler Race Police Department making a mess, it isn't. No, no, this time it is a van that decides to catapult the skyline back uh, to many, many miles an hour. It, normally it's the police doing something derpy in the game, but no, this time it's just a parked car. I mean, I slowed it down for this one. I don't quite know, even the slow down, I can't see what causes it to suddenly catapult back. can tell you the car gets over 300 miles an hour in this crash. I mean, the van is, is shot out of there as well, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a hell of a sort of a shot backwards. I mean, it could be a useful getaway tactic if managed to time right in the, in the right angle, but uh, in the end it didn't do that much for, for a getaway. Dilly Bar is the next on Art of Rally, uh, going for the humongous roll and land and carry on. Not quite a perfect lander, but a solid 9 out of 10 on the landing right there to be able to carry on 
pretty much unaffected. Uh, Motorhorn is up next on Beam NG Drive. Now, Rolls and Carry On on, on Rally Games, you know, we see it from time to time. Rolls and Carry On in Beam is a lot tougher. You normally take some sort of damage or something goes wrong uh, for the vehicle. I mean, this is a, a sort of heavily modified off road SBR4 that manages to twist and flip and Oops. land with the wings still attached. I mean, it's, it's not quite landed perfectly on the road, but still landed pretty well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't often get away with those. Uh, Velocity Racing is up next, also on Beam. Now, they are doing a kind of street race in multiplayer. Thing is, with Beam, it doesn't take much for things to go terribly, terribly wrong. We saw the SBR4 get incredibly lucky. Well... There's going to be someone that gets incredibly unlucky. Car goes to the inside. There's a little bit of contact. And, well, the vehicle we're riding on board with goes off the side of a mountain. Street racing is dangerous. Uh, it's safe to say the I-Series is a mess. Rob is up next on Junkyard Truck. Now, at this point, their engine is unhappy. In fact, it gives up while trying to climb up a hill. Okay, that is not ideal, as they are trying to sort it out and trying to get something, uh, trying to get it, I guess, trying to get it back or whatever. But in their attempts at uh, well, making progress, they have been captured. They have been captured, yes, by the bridge. One wheel is stuck. <laughs> One wheel is caught on the bridge, and the truck is stuck hanging. Uh, it's not ideal. It's not ideal that one. It's quite impressively well part. I don't know, I've never actually played this game, I don't know if there's like a push button or a way to try and nudge the uh, the truck off, whether running into it a bunch of times might get it to shift eventually, but still, yeah, it's impressively well uh, hanging on. And finally, we have Alex Norris on a set of Corsa. Now, they are racing some classic Formula One cars that don't want to be on the circuit anymore. <laughs> it's just, all of them spontaneously give up in spectacular fashion. And the thing is, it's not like they all is like the same part on the track or a curb or something that causes them. It is or everything at exactly the same time, no matter where it is on the circuit. I mean, I slowed it down. There's nothing, to, I say nothing so much to see. It's funny, but there's no rhyme or reason. Just everything is going forward and then everything is up in the air. It's... <laughs> I've done this I've done this series a long time now. It's one of the weirder things. It's one of the weirder things to have happened. It happens unbelievably quickly as well, and the player's car is completely unaffected by all that. I mean, it's an easy win for the player at the end of the day. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have any clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can have already Google Form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works uh, can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.